Hello everyone. Say an iron rod is heated to very high temperatures. It initially glows red. Red light is produced first because it has lower frequency and high wavelength. As it increases in temperature, the color will change from red to orange to yellow to white. The energy emitted by object increases with heating. Hence, we get orange, yellow, etc. which has higher frequency and shorter wavelength. You know, each element emits its characteristic color when heated by the same flame. These color correspond to certain discrete wavelengths of light because as we know, each color has a unique wavelength and this emission creates a line spectrum. Line spectrum is unique for every element. An electron always tries to maintain minimum energy state which is called the ground state. Hence, an electron releases the absorbed energy in form of electromagnetic energy which causes emission lines in the line spectrum. These line spectra unveiled many secrets of atomic structure and indicated that the circular orbit concept of Bohr was quite faulty. To sum up what we learned today, what is line spectrum? It is an emission spectrum consisting of separate isolated lines and the line spectrum is composed of a number of discrete frequencies of light. And don't forget, each element has a unique set of lines on its spectrum. That is, all the line spectra of elements are unique. Now, you may wonder, what exactly does the line spectrum tell us? Well, we shall learn that in the next lesson. Until then, bye-bye.